societies require food, energy, and water to operate at the levels of development that we are used to. Now, each of the systems that provide food, energy, and water are coupled and interlinked in various and complicated ways. And some of the ways in which these materials are provided for our well-being are through trade. So for example, I get avocados that were grown in Mexico. I also get oranges that were grown in Chile. The natural gas, the oil, the coal, and so on was probably transported internationally to us. And there, lately there's been a lot of discussion about enacting policies that affect the free trade of goods and services. So we've recently received a grant from the National Science Foundation to look at the potential consequences of restricting trade on the production and consumption decisions within the United States, specifically within the Midwest. Now enacting barriers that affect this trade will affect both prices as well as the decisions that we make within the United States. This grant that we received is a interdisciplinary effort among multiple colleges within Ohio State University and very, was very much seeded by activities within the sustainable and resilient economy discovery theme, which is a major investment in the university in addressing grand challenges for society.